I tried to go into it with an open mind and, and just to really just see myself as, as essentially a servant to Clayton. Imagine, um, you know, hosting the show, being back in this world has made you think about being The Bachelor more than you have probably in the last decade or so. Um, do you have any regrets from your time as The Bachelor? No, uh, well, I forgot someone's name, so that <laughs> But it became so classic. Katie. Man. <laughs> Most definitely. <laughs> I forgot her name. That wasn't the girl I wanted to give it to. Fortunately, that's a moment that no one's forgotten. <laughs> so yes, um, I do regret forgetting somebody's name. That was the first advice I gave Clayton, by the way. Do not forget anybody's name. Having been there myself, I can tell you, nothing good comes of that. You're gonna wanna stick to this, just, just, just lock in. And he's done a really, really good job of that. Um, I have no regrets. I, I had an unbelievable experience. It was back in 2004, this whole reality TV thing was so new and, and the show was so young. I think in a lot of ways that the show was still kind of figuring itself out. What was it gonna become? Um, and it was obviously a huge risk to kind of step out of my comfort zone, a football player to really sort of bear yourself and, and look for love and do it on television at the time was really sort of unique. I had a lot of explaining to do back in the New York Giants locker room that year. Um, the show, the show now, it, it's funny though, but it's like having done that, I think I learned so much about myself on that show. Uh, and I really just sort of went for it. And, and I'm happy I did. I, you know, it was an awful football analogy. I left it all in the field. And it helped me later in my life, like dating, dating later on as, as I grew up and I got more mature until finally meeting my wife, Emily, learning to be vulnerable and opening up and learning to communicate and admitting when my feelings were hurt and talking about how I felt really brought me a, a long way. So um, it, it, it's opened up more doors than I could ever could have imagined personally, professionally, and I'm really, really happy. I'm, I'm very, very fortunate that I was given that opportunity to do that back in 2004. On the other side of it, first season down technically filming wise as the host, anything you would do differently um, with how you handled Clayton's season in the hosting role or moving forward or any regrets there? No, I, I think I kind of like when I was The Bachelor too, I, I just really wanted it to be authentic. Um, and I, I tried to go into it with an open mind and, and just to really just see myself as, as essentially a servant to Clayton. I mean, this is really about him. And, you know, I put a lot of pressure on myself to try to help him get what he's looking for. At the end of all this, you know, I've been a big fan of the show ever since I've done it. So I've watched it a ton. And so you can always kind of lean back on things you've seen or, or different different experiences that you've had as a viewer. But ultimately when you finally get there and you're standing there, um, you know, it's really, it, it was just me trying to be authentic uh, and trying to be organic and, and help Clayton out the best I could.